Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got quite a few stories from a DIY 2080 Ti Super, Ryzen 4000 CPUs were spotted, 3rd Gen Threadripper breaks a ton of records, and Ryzen is dominating the competition. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time, and first up for today, a team of overclockers called Tech Lab have actually turned a 2080 Ti into the rumored 2080 Ti Super. Sort of. So far, the rumored specs for the upcoming GPU is faster RAM as well as more cores. Well, since most supercards have come with faster RAM and there's no way to add more cores without Nvidia's help, the team decided on the former. What's wild is that they had to gut two 2080 Super GPUs just to make it happen. With that said, they did get it to work. While the BIOS still saw it as 14 gigabit memory, they were able to overclock it to get effective speeds over 17 gigabits per second. And it actually worked. They ended up getting a score of over 11,000 in Unigen Extreme 1080p, which is about a thousand or two more than a typical 2080 Ti gets. Basically, just a small bump in RAM speed can give you a decent jump in performance, even in the high end. Next up for today, support for AMD's upcoming Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 series desktop CPUs, as well as their upcoming Zen 2 based APUs, were added to ADA64. Unfortunately, there isn't much more information here, but it shows us that AMD is clearly on track to releasing next gen Zen 3 7 nanometer EUV based CPUs next year. I'd also expect Ryzen 4000 APUs really early next year, though remember that they're supposed to be based on AMD's 7 nanometer Zen 2, which is what Ryzen 3000 desktop chips are made from. Still, we're ultimately getting closer and closer to 7 nanometers plus. Next up, while sticking to AMD, a slew of CPU records have been broken using the company's new Threadripper 3970X. Now, I know I'm a bit late on this one, but it's definitely interesting. When it comes to clocks, the 32-core CPU was overclocked as high as 5.752 GHz, and yes, it was done with liquid nitrogen. Well, really all the records were broken with liquid nitrogen, but it's still beyond impressive. We're talking about overclocking 32 cores to well over 5 GHz. When it comes to the overclocking record itself, it was achieved by TSAIK of Taiwan and proven on HWBot. When it comes to some of the benchmarks around these clocks, as an example, at 5.5 GHz, by this overclocker of Hong Kong, the 3970X got over 24,000 points in R20, which definitely beats the best 32-core part record and is only third when compared to them all. Though remember that first place is AMD's 64-core Epic CPU, and keep in mind that 64 cores will be coming to Threadripper soon. There's tons of others here, but basically AMD is killing it when it comes to their newest CPUs. Let's just say I'm definitely excited to try out their next-gen processors. With that said, AMD is clearly still gaining traction from their last-gen parts as well, specifically in today's next story. And yes, I know I talk about AMD a lot, but they're simply the ones with the most interesting news as of late. Anyway, in Amazon's list of best-selling CPUs in the US, as of this writing, since it does change, AMD's Ryzen processors take up the top 10 slots, every one of them. And this is a pretty big deal right now, because it's right after Black Friday, so lots of shopping was done, and it's one of the few metrics we have for US sales. As you can see, AMD's second gen 8-core 16-thread 2700X is number one, with their 6-core 12-thread 3600 tailing in the number two slot. Now, I will say that when this story originally broke, Intel did have a couple slots in the top 10, and maybe AMD just had better deals, but it's certainly a good indicator that the company is gaining market share. Also, when you go to the most wished for section, Ryzen takes the top 4 slots with number 5 going to the 9900K. Let's just say it'll be interesting to see how Intel responds in the coming years. Thank you, competition. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ryzen or what about that possible 2080 Ti Super? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.